Hi, I'm Michelle from College Swimming Guide, and I'd like to talk to you today about some options to simplify the recruiting process and help your child be able to swim in college. We all want to help our children as best we can, but sometimes we don't know the best way to actually accomplish that. So I'm going to talk to you about some options today. All of the options to help your child through the recruiting process have pluses and minuses. Of course, some take a lot more time and money than others. Uh, you can hire a personal recruiter. You can employ a recruiting service. You can do all of the legwork and research yourself, or you can purchase a membership to College Swimming Guide. I'm going to go over some of the details of each option for you. A lot of people think their club coach will handle the recruiting process for them. Club coaches are definitely helpful and they're happy to reach out to college coaches, give referrals to swimmers, and so forth. But they cannot be expected to do all the research of all the different programs for the swimmers. They don't have time and um, they're busy coaching the kids to help them achieve fast times that'll make them more appealing to the uh, different colleges. So while they're a great resource to have, they cannot be expected to handle the entire process. A personal recruiter is one option, and they'll spend more one-on-one -on -one time with your swimmer. They are extremely expensive, ranging from $3,000 to $5,000 typically, and some of them spend more time on just the swim program as opposed to what your child's interested in in terms of majors, college locations, etc. So you want to make sure you really interview them and talk to them before signing up with one to make sure that they're going to be considering the entire package of what your swimmer is interested in. Another option is a recruiting service. Their packages tend to start around five or $700 as a baseline and go all the way up to around $3,000, depending on the level of services that you select. You wanna to talk to them and find out what they're gonna focus on when marketing your swimmer to different swim programs. Be sure they're gonna to listen to your swimmer in terms of what they want for academics, college location, size of the college, and other factors, as opposed to focusing solely on the swim program. A third option is to do all of the legwork yourself. This is the option I chose, um, and that's why I'm here before you today with College Swimming Guide. The information is all available to you out there on the internet, and you certainly can do the legwork yourself. It's just extremely time consuming. You need to figure out which conferences are the best fit for your child based on the times required to score at conference championships. Then look at which colleges are in those conferences, um, draft emails to coaches, find coach email addresses, etc., and reach out to them. And it certainly can be done. It just does take a lot of time and energy. And last is College Swimming Guide. I created College Swimming Guide after going through the recruiting process with my son and seeing how difficult and how overwhelming it could be. I wanted to simplify the recruiting process for parents and swimmers coming along behind me. So I have created spreadsheets that detail all of the conference championship times, which you can look at and see where your child would best fit. Figure out if they can score at conference or they're close to scoring at conference because this will make them more desirable to a college coach. Then I have lists of which colleges are in which conference. You look at those and you drill down and look at the colleges and say, okay, they offer the major my child's interested in or my child hates the heat. Maybe he shouldn't look at going to school in Florida um, and other factors to figure it out. We also have sample emails that vary depending on whether they're an introductory email to a coach, uh, maybe a simple update on best time after a taper meet, or emails that have been going back and forth establishing a rapport with a coach or an assistant coach. Uh, there are lists of questions that can be asked early on in the process, a little further down the road, and on official visits. Um, questions and things to think about while on visits, both with coaches and when talking to prospective teammates and various other things to consider about both swim programs and colleges as a whole. Each month, College Swimming Guide members receive an email with a list of action items, resources, and things to focus on for that month, depending on which time of the year it is. We also have a private Facebook group, which parents can join and discuss different items. Um, they might just simply be asking a question like, how many recruit questionnaires did your child fill out? Or does anybody have any experience with this coach not responding? Or has anyone looked at and toured this school? What were your impressions? Since we're all scattered all over the country, that can be helpful because we can't fly everywhere across the country to, um, to look at every school that there is. So getting support from fellow College Swimming Guide members and forming a community is extremely helpful for everyone. The price of a membership to College Swimming Guide lasts through all four years of high school or whenever you join. Thanks for tuning in today. I hope the information has been useful. And please check out the website at www.collegeswimmingguide.com. See what information and resources we have there. And I hope you'll consider becoming a College Swimming Guide member. Have a great day.